You may do the whole landscaping job at once, or you may do it part by part. But a good place to begin is on the side where your house makes its first impression on friend and neighbor. The side of the house that is forever on display. Here, when space permits, the quiet dignity of trees is used by nurserymen to provide a basic framework for the house. If any other work is done, you should locate the position of these trees and plant them. To accomplish this properly, you will first have to establish what nurserymen call a primary point of view. This is a position about opposite the front door from which you want your home to look its very best to passers-by. The framing tree... Three well-defined areas. The public area, the utility area, and the private or living area. If you think of your land as an outdoor... In an architecturally balanced house with a center doorway, trees of about equal size would be used. When the weight of the house is on the left, as it is here, plant the larger tree on the right and the architectural balance. Taller houses often require tall growing trees, but for single-storied houses like this one, the larger tree need not be more than a medium size. From the driveway, a secondary point of view exists permitting a more intimate view of the house. A small tree or a large shrub planted here is doubly useful. It completes the frame for the new view and helps to modify the long straight roof line. Setting out trees is the first important step. Now you must fill in the detail so that the house blends more naturally with its environment. This calls for foundation planting. Visual guidelines are very useful here, too. From each end of the house, a little less than halfway to the eaves, draw two imaginary lines which meet at the threshold. These lines will help you to determine the maximum desirable height of the corner and doorway plants. At the outside corners, start with a key plant either an evergreen or a flowering shrub. For the best effect, support it with smaller plants of harmonious leaf texture. At the doorway, use slow-growing plants or plants whose size can be controlled by pruning. Their height may be a little above or a little below the visual guidelines. For a bright splash of color during the spring and early summer, azaleas, perhaps. For more subtle color contrasts, evergreens offer a wide choice of blues or greens or grays. Here, as in other instances, your nurseryman can help you select plants best suited to your taste, to your climate and soil conditions. Along the foundation, between the threshold and the outside corners, use connective plants, such as low-growing evergreens or simple ground covers. If the house has a pleasing low foundation, you may leave some open spaces. On wide plots, you'll want to protect the activities of the private area from public view. Plant a free-flowing arrangement of flowering shrubs on one border, and shrubs or evergreens on the other for balance and a sweeping line to the house. Preserve an open, uncluttered lawn to give dramatic impact and a sense of space to the house and landscape. The finished effect, strong vertical and horizontal lines are softened. The house, set pleasingly in its surrounding landscape, reflects the warmth, the friendliness and the good taste of those who occupy it. Next, locate this for easy access from the business area of the house, near the kitchen, the garage, the tool shed. If you have young children, you will want it large enough to provide a play space for them and a separate plot for yourself, where you can grow fruits. Along the property line, a narrow hedge of upright evergreens is both pleasing and practical. 
On the far border, set out your favorite fruit trees, interspersed with berry plants of your choice. You can use the boundary line between the two areas to good advantage by treating it the same way. Complete the enclosure with a screening fence, which can become the background for future planting. You have thus provided a protected area where even young children can play in safety, while preserving to yourself a place where you can enjoy the undisturbed pleasure of growing vegetables, flowers, herbs, strawberries, asparagus, whatever you desire to supply with the flavor of freshness. The part of your property which can most fully ex individual dreams of beauty or outdoor living area. Landscaping the outdoor living area begins with a starting point, a focal point, and an uninterrupted line of vision between them called the main. Ideally, the outdoor living area is a vision of the interior of the house, as in this case. It may also begin from a terrace, a doorway, or any other vantage point close to the house. Once you have determined the position of the main axis, you must decide whether you want a formal arrangement or one that is free-flowing and informal. For the formal garden, you would think in terms of squares. For the informal, in terms of ovals. Since this is to be an informal arrangement, the landscaping will be developed around the oval shape. The area outside the oval is reserved for shrubs, leaving the inside for open lawn. At the focal point, establish a terminal feature. This could be one of a variety of things. A bench beneath a rose-covered arbor, an appropriate piece of statuary, a specimen tree, a swimming pool, even an unusual view. To give the terminal feature additional emphasis, plant harmonizing floribunda and grandas on either side. Pro can provide color all summer. Set off the terminal feature with a backdrop of evergreens, especially suitable because they hold color all year long. Then, from the point of view of the beginning of the axis, frame the foreground, a magnolia closer to the arbor. Be sure they are planted just outside the point of view lines. Always of importance, a tree at the terrace to provide shade during the warmest part of the day. Use a full leaf tree like a sycamore, a maple, or honey locust. With the trees in place, you can now devote yourself to planting the border areas. Plant the borders with flowering shrubs or evergreens or both. By choosing several different kinds of flowering shrubs, you can get continual bloom from spring to fall. Along the fence, give yourself the splendor of climbing roses with low-growing shrubs or perennials in the foreground. At the sides of the terrace and along the foundation of the house, use transition plants to blend the house with the outdoor living area. Against the background of shrubs and evergreens, use color accents. Choose flowers to suit your time and your taste and to give you an array of successive color. The total effect is an outdoor living area to be looked at with pride and lived in. This is a house that beckons, a house that invites the eye and pleases it. This is a landscaped house.